Hi, I'm Laurie Maston, and I'm here to give you the quick tip of the week. I teach the training center, and one of the areas that I teach is the market approach. And a quick tip, I often hear practitioners uh, give me feedback that although the market approach is something that needs to be looked at if they're doing a revenue ruling 5960 report, they rarely use it and rely on it in practice. And my quick tip is my experience in reading other people's reports is that the market approach normally from a comparable transaction standpoint doesn't really mesh well or line up with the income approach of other practitioners. And rarely do I see other practitioners actually apply a different metric in the market approach, the different metric being selecting the multiples using a harmonic mean rather than an average or the median. The harmonic mean, this is the tip, harmonic mean is designed when you're using relational data to identify the appropriate metric that you need to use. And so if you have a magnitude of multiples, multiples on, you know, at multiple of 10x and 3x, if you use the average of those, you're going to get something that's skewed by the 10x multiple. And if you just simply look into the background of the harmonic mean, when you are applying that to the multiples, what it does is it gives equal weight to each actual transaction or comparable that you've used. If you use the average, it can be skewed if the information is not perfectly harmonic from the standpoint of a standard deviation. So I don't have enough time to explain the harmonic mean. Look it up. You'll understand what it means when you look at the relationship because you're looking at a price to earnings. So anytime you're using a, any data and there's a relationship between two items, the harmonic mean is going to give you a true measure and a true metric of all of the data equally rather than averaging and possibly having a skewed data set.